Today, we are debugging edge functions. Now, since the Superbase CLI version 1.171, now the Superbase CLI supports debugging edge functions via the V8 inspector protocol. This means that you can use any Chromium based browser or you know anything that supports kind of the V8 inspector protocol, uh, like the Chrome developer tools to debug and inspect your Superbase edge functions. Now we're going to look at how we can do this with the Chrome developer tool. So if you have Chrome installed uh, on your machine, for example, here, I'm using Chrome, then uh, you can use the Chrome developer tools for debugging. Now the way it works is we have added a new inspect mode. So you can uh, look into the CLI um, reference. So here the inspect flag is um, a shorthand for the inspect mode break. And inspect mode break, what it does is it actually um, adds a breakpoint at the first line to pause your script execution. So as you know, Superbase Edge functions are very lightweight kind of VH isolates. Um, and so, you know, if you have a very small function, uh, you might actually not catch, um, you know, if there isn't any issue, uh, you might actually not catch kind of that execution. So what we can do is we can run it with um, a break. So it stops at the first line and we can, you know, inspect our function and set breakpoints. Okay, so let's get started. Now, as always, when you're working with the Superbase CLI, make sure you upgrade it periodically to the latest version. So we can say if we're using brew, um, we can say brew upgrade Superbase. There we go. I already have the latest version installed, but you should be using that every, uh, you should be upgrading every once in a while with a new project. So I just have a uh, you know, an empty project here. So I personally like to use um, VS code. So you can see it's just an empty project. So what we can do is in this empty project, we can run Superbase in it. So we can initialize a new Superbase project. Now we can generate settings for Dino. Um, so we're using Dino as the runtime. Um, so it's, we're using VS Code here. So we're going to generate um, the settings for um, VS Code here. You can see that we recommend the um, Dino Land VS Code extension for kind of code completion and formatting. Uh, and then we also enable um, Dino. Uh, specifically for the functions directory. Okay, so we can say superbase functions new, and we'll just say um, maybe hello, create a new superbase function here. So in our superbase folder in functions, we will get a new function. And so in this case, we're just saying, um, you know, hello name, and we're just getting the request um, JSON from the body. So if we make a request here with um, a JSON body uh, and you know name, then we will get back uh, hello name. So we can quickly spin this up locally. As you know, Superbase is um, fully open source and we can use the Superbase CLI to run this locally. Okay, and so now we can start up our uh, Superbase stack lo locally by just saying Superbase start. Great, so now we're up and running. And so now, as I mentioned, we can say superbase functions serve and we can pass in the inspect flag. And so now um, our inspector is up and running with um, that you know mode break. So we'll set a breakpoint at the you know first kind of line of the function. And so now if we make a curl request to our function, you can see that um, the debugger is listening. Um, you know, on our WebSocket on this port AC, uh, AC3. And then we need to visit Chrome inspect to connect the debugger because, you know, we're waiting for the debugger to connect here. So we'll need to go if we're using Chrome, we go to Chrome inspect. And so now what we need to do is discover network targets and we say configure. And so in this case, um, you know, target discovery settings dialog, we say um, we want to connect to, you know, running locally. So this is our local host on port 8083. Um, so we can do put that in here and we can say done. 
And then what we actually see now here is because you know, we're already running and waiting. But we, we can actually click just here, we see that we have the Superbase Edge Runtime Inspector. Um, and so we can just click on here and say inspect. Um, maybe we zoom in a little bit. And so we can see now that we're paused, um, kind of, you know, the first line of the function execution. So what we could do is, for example, you know, we can set a breakpoint maybe here. Um, we can also do some additional configuration where we can say we want to pause on kind of an uncaught um, exception. We could also pause on caught exceptions. Um, so for now, we're just, you know, adding a breakpoint here and then we can kind of inspect that further. So basically now if we go ahead and we fire off this request again, we can see now that, you know, we're paused here. So we can go and we can run to our next breakpoint. So we can see now that, you know, we have filled in here our variables. So we can see kind of our request objects here, we can inspect everything. So, you know, if you're familiar, if you, you've worked with the Chrome DevTools before, you're familiar with kind of how this works. And, you know, you can even kind of step through um, further, you can see now we have kind of this filled in words like hello functions. And we can see now that um, the debug session has ended. And we have our response here, hello functions. So there you go. This is how you can set up the Chrome developer tools for debugging your Superbase Edge functions, making it easier to understand kind of what's going on and helping you find those bugs in your functions more easily. Do let us know what else you want to learn about in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.